Hey, what's up guys? I know I haven't made a video in a while on fitness, but I just been uh, trying to get back into the groove. This is a uh, month of May. It's a new month, so if you fall off like me, the, you could get back into it. Because I haven't necessarily been tracking my macros consistently. I haven't been working out consistently, but just try and get your steps in, your push-ups, your air squats, and your sit-ups. Just try and get that, get that in bare minimum. I actually bought a a two pound jump rope that I'll be using later on. And I'm trying to uh, do like a hundred jumps per day. And I might need to build up. My goal is to get to a song. Uh, I'm, I'll give myself a month to get up there. Well, we'll see. I'm, I for sure would have to drop my weight. I weigh around uh, 140 right now. So uh, make sure you guys uh, stay motiv motivated for the month of March. And I was. I was on YouTube and I was looking at different books and I think that uh, based off of the algorithm, whatever I'm searching, whatever I'm looking at, that it would pitch me like certain books or certain videos on. There's this book, it's called The Compound Effect. That kind of reminds me of the Atomic Habits. So it's like you're building these little micro habits so that over the course of a month or a year that you will look better than me. If you start walking and doing what I'm telling you to do and it's easier for me to give advice versus to follow it and, and I will be guilty of it too so um, this is more me trying to talk to myself to try and keep myself accountable and to motivate myself and there's another book it's called Tao Te Ching and it's a Chinese book my mother told me about it's about a uh, don't try and control certain things because you don't control externals. You can only control what you do with inside and, you know, just, just let things happen. Uh, well, one example is, is I'm trying to get my car fixed, but the shop is so busy that they didn't give me time to, uh, to bring the car in. So the, the car runs and it is what it is. If, if the engine takes a poop again, then I'll just get rid of the car. Uh, another good book is uh, Master Your Emotions. And if you grew up feeling like you weren't good enough, you will constantly be pushing to become the best version of yourself because you want something from other people. You want to be recognized by them. I would have to re-listen to this book a bunch of times and then write stuff out in my journal so that I could fully understand it. But for sure, when I was listening to it, I was kind of resonating with it. And... You, you should love yourself and push yourself because you expect good things to happen for you and not because you're looking outside. Because your happiness, it comes from within inside. It doesn't come from outside. But I could buy a brand new pair of shoes. I could buy a brand new car. And is it really, really going to make me happy in a moment? Yes, it will. But uh, maybe like months or years from now, it, it's not necessarily going to make me happy on I, it's like being on a roller coaster where you know, you'll have your peaks and your valleys, but just, just try and, you know, try and work on your problems, be aware of them. I, I also read in one of these books, I'm not sure which one, that if you worry about the future or the past, you don't control these things. You can only control what you do right now, where, where you give your focus and attention to, who you give it to. Don't, don't let people waste your time. Anybody that's like spamming you, texting you, trying to call you, just block them. And if they're not helping you get to where you want to go, like, because they, they could be giving you really good advice, but if you're just not ready for it, just, just focus on the things that you know. For example, uh, some people are like, yeah, you know, you, you should become religious. And um, I do see the good things in religion, but right now, it's not something that I want to focus on. And I did try religion in the past. And... You know, I just wasn't in a learning mode, so I'm trying to build myself up so later on, if I'm open to it, that I'll have an open heart for it. But right now, it's close to that. Because you, you can't focus on a hundred different things. You, you have to focus on a few things, achievables. And make sure you track the things that you're doing, such as your money, your time. You should uh, schedule things out in your calendar so that there's no negotiation, Make sure you guys got a budget so you know what you're spending your money on, uh, what you can do and what you can't do. It, it takes a lot of stress out of it. I know when I first moved to California, 
I probably owed like thirty plus thousand dollars in student loans on. Uh, well, luckily, my brother he helped me out. Uh, he he gave me a place to stay. He he gave me a car. In the meantime, I didn't have to pay him. And he he just said, you know, focus on your your debt. Pay pay your debt off, and then you can worry about paying me later. And you know, the, these kinds of people that were, because most people they're not gonna help you like that. Uh, these these special people, uh, I think uh, for for seeing you know, giving me an opportunity. So uh, we're worrying about the past. And the future, it can create negative thoughts. It can create depression. And also your, your body posture. Just say, for example, there was one time I went on an outing and then my posture was off. And then the person was like, yeah, your posture is bad. And I was like, yeah, it, it is bad. Because I noticed when I take pictures that my, my back is like kind of bent over. And just say, for example, if you're in a survival state, that you're, you're gonna be in this kind of position and then your body's gonna lock in. Your, your small habits, just say for example, if I was always in this stance for 40 years, my body is naturally gonna be there. But if, if you try and you know stand tall, have, have your shoulders back, that you would have better posture, and, and it all plays into your image on, you know, the, well, what's strong, what's weak, uh, well, what's good for you know genetics, so now don't, don't slouch it. If, if you have bad posture, it can cause um, a bad mood. And they, they said that if, if you have like power poses or something like that, that it, it could increase testosterone. If, if you're, you know, in a certain survival state, it could also cause uh, increase in testosterone. Uh, I heard that if, if you're in a relationship, if you live with another person, it decreases your testosterone. Because you're, you're, you're more comfortable, you're secure, so uh, sometimes being comfortable is not good. Be comfortable with being uncomfortable. So fo focus on your internals and not the external. Mm. So be, be mindful of what you feed your body through what you're feeding into your, your body, right? Because if you're eating empty calories, what's the point in all honesty? I was talking to one of my friends and I was trying to give him tips on how to lose weight. So make sure you guys walk. Uh, your, your mind is on point. Make sure you're not super stressed out. Your sleep is on point. Uh, you're, you're not th having negative thoughts because it can affect, it can make your body toxic essentially. Your skin, your body, you're, you don't want to be stressed out. Make sure you get your, your little workouts in. Make sure that you're learning. Don't focus on a hundred different YouTube videos on Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Just focus on the few core fundamentals that your coach is telling you about. And you'll, you'll get a lot more out of that versus, you know, focusing too much on everything that you don't necessarily control. One thing that I've, I've been guilty of was uh, I've been trying to focus on like finance and cars and well, what, what other, whatever hobbies that don't make me money. So I'm going to try and limit these things and stop. I'm going to try and track my bad behavior so that I can see them over 20, 21 day period or a month period. So for, for sure, be mindful of your thoughts because you're, you have 50,000 thoughts a day. You live with yourself 24 hours a day. And I also want one thing about that book was uh, he was saying that some people are like three minutes friends. So you can only hang out with them for three minutes. Some people are one hour friends and some people are day friends. And you, if, if, if you spend more time with these people, that that's not really benefiting you. So um, I thought that that was interesting. Um, I personally don't think that I have friends. I have brothers. And uh, if, if you're not a brother, it's like you're a stranger in my opinion. You're, you could be a peer, you know. Um, I don't necessarily identify with friends because if, if, if you're within my circle, you're my brother. I consider you my brother. So who, who are you to define your identity? And this is a question to you. So for me, I, I could be a male, I'm American, I'm Asian, I'm muscular, I'm a shorty, I'm average intelligence, I'm a turtle, I'm a martial artist, techie, and an introvert. 